G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the thermal paste on a GTX 960 Windforce Edition. Um, this particular one is a bit old and it needs a little bit of love. So, to begin with, I'm going to need thermal paste, isopropyl, a Phillips head screwdriver. This one here will do. And take the four screws out. So, this is something that's very darn straightforward or at least I'm expecting it should be. No. Pull it over. And we see some uh, pretty much powdered thermal paste. If I poke that, it's probably just gonna drop off. Yeah, not exactly great. And with the help of some isopropyl alcohol and some tissue paper, should be able to quickly clean that up and swap it over. There we go. And should just be able to go over the chip. Try to pick up as much film paste as possible along the way. Toothpaste, a toothbrush, brush that out of the way. Let me go up here as well. Compared to some dyes, this is going to take a, or use a very little thermal paste, considering it's a very small chip. Here, do see a fair bit of mess going on up here. A bit odd. Okay, it's looking a little bit healthier. There we go. Thermal paste. Whoop. Right on here. Go and that should spread out just fine when I put the cooler back on. It should be a matter of folding this over and lining up the dots like so. Push down a little bit, that's going to sit there just fine. And proceed to put these Phillips head screws back in. One, two, so I'm just doing them up loosely to begin with. Now we'll tighten them up. And bam, that's the thermal paste replaced on a GTX 960 Windforce edition. Very straightforward, hope it helped. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.